Hello and welcome to my DIY tutorial teaching you how to fix a wonky, wobbly or loose toilet seat. Now this is a video I've been looking to do for quite a while now, but the reason I've held off is because really there are two separate ways of fixing a toilet seat, just largely because there are two main styles of toilet. There's one that you can fix from underneath and there's one that can only be fixed from on top, which is really the more modern way with pans that are attached to units or attached directly to the wall. I wanted to have both in the same video, otherwise you'd sit through a five, six minute video and just be frustrated because you wouldn't be able to solve the problem that clearly you've got at home. Now I'm working under the assumption that anybody watching this is a DIY, you've got a loose toilet seat at home that needs fixing. If you're in the trade or you know already how to fix a wobbly toilet seat, then you probably shouldn't be watching this anyway and it's probably be on Netflix or something for your entertainment, but because of that, I'm going to use very, very basic tools. There are specialist tools for seating a toilet, but I'm not going to show you or use them because you're just probably not going to have them in, in the shed or, or in your toolbox at home. So we'll make it as easy as we possibly can. Um, the toilet seat, fitting a toilet seat, particularly when you're going around other people's houses, um, it is, I've got my gloves on basically because it can be a, a bit of a dirty a task. Fortunately, these two seem to be relatively clean. What will happen in this video is particularly on the top fixing one, so the first toilet seat I'm going to go, there's going to be a really handy technique for you to use that you're probably not aware of, which will enable you to keep the toilet and the toilet seat very, very clean just by um, detaching the seat itself. Anyway, enough waffle from me. I'll show you how it's done. So the first one is just down here. And here's the toilet seat, which um, if I just move it, you can see it's moving in a way it shouldn't. The first thing I can tell you about this toilet seat is I think it's been replaced relatively recently. You can just see by the shape of the pan and in the shape of the seat itself. This is obviously a replacement seat, so I guess the old one was broken anyway. But there's, um, there's a certain amount of movement with it. If I just lift this up, you can see it's, it's, moving. it's moving all over the place. So obviously when they're sitting on it, it's... Um, well, it's just sliding from side to side. Uh, clearly I can see from the way it's moving, I'll just show you here, that it's, this point is stationary. So it's pivoting on that side there. So that's actually the side we're going to have to secure. Now I do not have a bottom or a side entry on this. As I'll just show you, you have to excuse the light. It's always difficult to do this, but there's no entry inside. I cannot get to the seat from underneath. So I'm gonna to have to do so from above. Just wait for the camera to focus there. Now, first thing I do is I'll lift the seat up and you can see that there's a button. You might not have even noticed it. You might have thought it was decorative in some way, but if I push this button, there's a catch here and there's a catch here. It actually just releases it and the seat comes off. Leaving the two brackets. Now, this one here, I was under the assumption that it's, it is, it's stiff, it's in position, exactly as it should be. Whereas this one here, as you can already see, this is the culprit. This is why the seat is moving around. So again, this is a great method for actually just cleaning. You can pop that seat off anytime you want and it will enable you to clean, as they've clearly been doing here actually, um, It'll allow you to clean very, very easily just behind. But also, you have these discs, which are here. I can tell this is a relatively new seat, because normally that disc would be, uh, would be set a little bit more than that, and they do tend to, over time, go rusty. But this is relatively new, so I think what's happened is somebody's installed this seat, and they've just not fixed it correctly. So, the first thing I'll do is just take my take my seat back again and just align it so as I know that these two go straight into the grooves and we have the correct spacing. There we go, that's the correct spacing, I know that. I've not locked it into position, but what it allowed me to do is when I tighten this, I will just be able to tighten it straight into the correct position so these two spikes align precisely with the two holes on the underside of the seat. I'm just gonna pop you down here because I need to tighten this screw. There's a screw in the top, which hopefully if I just, hopefully you can see that. All I'm doing is tightening this, but I'm gonna need two hands because it's gonna, I need to stop it from slipping around. Hope the camera doesn't fall inside the toilet. 
there we go. Just give that a tighten. Now I can tighten this very, very, as, oh, I was going to say very tight, but as, as tight as I dare, um, because this is actually plastic, this is rubber, and underneath I know that's also rubber, so I'm not going to crack the pan by there being metal on top of ceramics, but that's now not moving. I'm going to pop this cap, which you saw earlier, straight back on top. Hopefully you can see that there. And I showed you the seat earlier, I'll just show you again. There are the two holes, there are the two, they've got to match up with the two spikes there. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do one-handed, but there we go. It goes back on and that's locked in position. Hopefully you saw that button just pop out. And if I just lower that now, it's just not moving. It's fixed, it's as quick and easy as that. Okay, that was the first one. Now, there's a lot of my plumbing DIY videos, which perhaps you might not want to tackle on your own. Understand, this is just really here to give you a helping hand, and if something's quick and easy, then to allow you to do it. But from what I've just shown you to fix a leaky toilet seat, I often get called out just to do those jobs. You can do it yourself, you can do it at home, you've seen how easy it is. It really doesn't warrant calling a plumber out for and paying money unnecessarily. That's, um, it's, it just took me a screwdriver just to fix it. The second one is slightly more complicated and slightly harder to get to, but there's probably more of the style of toilets I'm about to show you now around than there are the ones you've just seen. So I'm gonna take you downstairs to the other toilet and show you what is essentially exactly the same problem there, albeit with a different fixing mechanism. Right, I'm in the downstairs cloakroom. Now it would have been very easy for me to perhaps show you these methods in a showroom or a studio or on top of a table with a brand new toilet and brand new fixings. The truth of the matter is that's not the reality and that's not what you're going to find at your house. Toilets by their very nature are shoved into cramped spaces. They're dirty, it's not a particularly pleasant job and you have to get right underneath them to get under to change the, sh change the, um, change the seat. So there's really no point in me showing you how to do it in a studio sanitised environment because that's not what your toilet's gonna to be like. That's not the problem that you're gonna encounter when you want to fix your wobbly toilet seat. Anyway, without further ado, I'll show you this one now. There's the wobble. Excuse the lighting, it's not particularly well lit room actually. Um, the wobble's the same, exactly the same. Different fixing on this particular toilet and I'll try and show you why. Unlike the last one, I am unable to get here. Okay, these are fixed, as you'll see, from underneath. Now you'll please have to excuse me, hopefully you can see that. Can you see that there's a nut just there? I'm just gonna try and pop this out. And I know it's loose, because I've already seen it move. So actually this nut here, I'm just gonna take it off. Okay, now here's, here is something you'll encounter straight, excuse me, <laughs> camera's dropped out. Um, that's something you're gonna encounter straight away, and you will encounter it quite a lot. These nuts get rusty. The bolts get rusty, just because they're getting moist all the time. There's moisture on them, but I've got it off. There's the nut there. I'm just gonna show you something quickly now. Now actually, as a method, it's quite easy to do. This is very, very easy to, to sort this out. Okay, there's your, there's your bolt, and that just needs to be tightened up. That had come loose. I'm gonna use an adjustable wrench as a tool, because I just think it's the most likely thing you're gonna have at home. There is a tool for doing it. You're just not gonna have one, as I say. If you do have one of those tools, you don't need to watch this video anyway, because you, if you have one of those tools, you fix toilets all the time. The important thing to do is, so as you're not adjusting this wrench on the underside where you can't see it, just make sure that it's the right size. Okay, that's all you need to do. Obviously don't now adjust that wheel because we know that wheel is set to the right size. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this back underneath, which I'm gonna place the camera down first. This is the most important thing is that you can see what I'm doing. There's the nut. It's not a very pleasant job. Having said that, I've done a thousand more dirty toilets than this one. 
So, there we go. Okay, that's as tight as I can hand tighten it. And then the trick is to get the wrench onto there. I cannot see. So I'm having to feel with my hands, okay? I guess I could do, if you really need to, you're gonna have to lie down alongside the toilet and get your head underneath it. Not something I like doing unless it's absolutely necessary. So I prefer to just to get the sizing right and feel for it. That's actually done one tighten there. You feel that one more is probably gonna do it. No, maybe one more. quite hard to get it on every time there's not a lot of room there there we go that's on I probably could tighten it more than that um, but that has done the job that's just not moving okay the very very important thing to remember with toilets so let me just spin this around um, the really important thing to remember with any of these things, particularly toilets, is the toilet is made of ceramic or porcelain, and a lot of these bolts are metal. Now, that bolt I just put on there did have a small plastic gasket to protect the metal, uh, to protect the porcelain. If you don't have one, by tightening that metal screw, what you're gonna be doing is putting the porcelain and putting the ceramic under pressure that it might crack, so you don't want to over tighten. The bolt that you've seen underneath there, it may look slightly different. It may be a butterfly bolt, but in which case you could still uh, get those get those grips on there and still work it loose that way. But as I say, it's very, very important. If you see the metal is touching the porcelain, do not over tighten, otherwise you'll crack your pan and then you'll have a whole bigger problem than just a wonky toilet seat. Anyway, I really hope this has been a useful tutorial, useful video for you. As I say, it's a little DIY job that you could do yourself very, very quickly. It's taken me longer just because I'm trying to film it as I'm doing it. So a lot of it I'm doing it one hand, even really. I wouldn't normally have a camera in my hand. I'd just be doing it and, uh, and getting it done. So anyway, no need to call anybody out for that. Have a go at it yourself before you pay anybody to do it. If you've liked the video and it's been useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Also, I've got lots more DIY videos on my channel. When I finish talking, there'll be an end slate. If you just press the subscribe button, it will automatically subscribe you uh, to my home DIY tips and tricks for anything inside a bathroom or a kitchen which will hopefully help you out in your home improvement projects right that's it from me i better get back to work at a bathroom to fit thanks for watching